thank you. Thank you for coming back to <laughs> the living room. And if this is your first time, which it might be. Amazing. Hello and welcome. Welcome. And comment below what made you click on this video. This is Matt Redmond. That's Patricia Hammond. This is Living Room Requests. It is. <laughs>
wish I was a fisherman tumbling on the seas far away from dry land and its bitter memories casting out my sweet line with abandonment and love no ceiling bearing down on me save the starry sky above with light in my head you in my arms I On a hurtling fever train Crashing headlong in a heartland Like a cannon in the rain With the beating of the sleepers And the burning of the coal Counting the towns flashing by In a night that's full of soul From the bonds that hold me fast That the chains all hung around me Will fall away at last And on that fine and fateful day I will take thee in my hands I will ride on the train I will be the fisherman With light in my head Right, sorry for starting too early in the second Does verse. Da, 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 da. I was just trying to have a little uh, synthy interlude where um, where we don't, you know, just nothing happens because that's how that music works. But, um, you know, I, a lot of people wouldn't expect that the Water Boys, Mike Stott uh, and uh, Steve Wickham, would actually push the boundaries of standard mu mu music notation. They would think, oh, that one must be Stockhausen or... Charles Ives or Zanaki, or, you know, someone who's yet to be bought, Jacob Collier. But no, wrong. The people who actually, uh, you know, notate these sort of things say, you know, I give up. I'm just going to write some An words approximation. underneath some An notes. Approximation. And let's face it. You're not going to need to do this because you'll have an audio it, recording. I and I'm like, he's screaming it. I can't scream. I Well, I won't scream. So there, we learn something new every day. So we had to do On Living Room Requests. Thing. Okay? We so we learn something new thing. every day. And today we learned that the Water Boys push the boundaries of published standard sheet music notation because they go, you know what? I ain't writing this out. It's just a bunch of words and some notes. There you go. Enjoy. And that's our little wedding cake ribbon. Not there by the way, we're not married. I'm just nope. speaking figuratively. Uh, uh, ours is and we just used it. Yes. So uh, I'm going to use this again in a minute. So get ready. Um, if you enjoy this video, you can press the thumbs up if you're watching on a phone or a computer or a tablet. But, you know, if you're watching on a smart TV, you can just press subscribe to Patricia Hammond's songs. You'll be notified when you open the YouTube app. It'll say a new living room request. So how nice would that be? This is the first time in Living Room Requests in 200, 300 episodes that I have repeated an outfit. This one, this one, uh, I wore, gosh, over a year ago now. We'll put a link to when we were, it should show how we've improved in filming. Uh, he's improved in filming. 
um, and lighting design in that. Um, yeah, we, we we did it. It was like over an hour long, the episode we did with this. Oh, it was a very, very, very long episode. So Including that's what's Joni happening. Mitchell and you can find Patricia's sorts. dresses by going to Instagram. <laughs> Patricia Hammond, right there. Are you going to hold that? Am I going to hold yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That's yeah, fine. this is called uh, Nobody's Sweetheart. Now, Certainly. this was written by Gus Khan, Ernie Erdman, Billy Myers, and Elmer Sherbel. So Billy, Gus, Ernie, and Elmer, they're basically writing about a woman who, for her sins, you know, she, she, she's basically, she doesn't wear gingham anymore. She's left her hometown and she's wearing silks and satins. And they think that's a shame, which is kind of hypocritical. And don't forget to take this off. I think it's the, very uh, silly. I'm going to take that off you at certain, uh, yeah, yeah. And then you're going to grab, there you go. Right? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Right. Anyway, Sad we're going to do song. it. Well, I know it's not sad. It's hilarious. Hilarious song. Hilarious. And this one... 1924. ...is for David. Thank you Thank so much, you, David. Thank you, David, for your first of several.
She gets her answer. I thought that'd be a good idea. It's good. Good to do it in different key. Thank you very Thank much you for very watching. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time on Living Thank Room Test, won't we? Thank you very much. Yeah, hopefully. Yes, you well, will. I don't know. Thanks for Up watching. Up to you. Thank bye bye. You for the music. Thank <laughs> you.